What's good YouTube? Warstorm here coming at you guys in our video. No, it's been a little while and we'll get to that at the end of the video if you guys have been watching for a while. You guys really care about it. I'll leave that for the end. I could spend the first 10 minutes, first couple minutes of video explaining what's been going on with me, why I haven't been uploading, etc. But if you guys really care for that, I'm going to put that at the end as opposed to the beginning so we can get to the main topic of the video today, which is the changes to the tournament policy. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of time to think about it before jumping to conclusions to talk a little bit about it. I'm also going to be using the Konami blog link in this video as opposed to the um, the 40 page document itself because I think the blog article is a little bit better. As I mentioned in my previous video that I uploaded a while ago about communication, I talked about patch notes and that's what this is. This blog post is essentially patch notes which is good on you know it's obviously i feel like we need a lot more communication and of why things happen from konami but this is better than this is a step in the right direction if nothing else so so to start us all off this is the tournament policy and being updated this is the blog post i will have the link down below in the description box so you guys can read it for yourself so basically there's a bunch of information here but we want to talk about the big changes there's three really major changes in these notes and this is i think the best thing for you guys because it's pretty easy to skim through that way we don't have to spend a whole video talking about it but the major changes are hygiene is now actually in the tournament policy uh, which we'll get to in a moment and there are some new changes as as opposed to to verify cards with certain card effects now some cards function differently than they used to that's the basic crux of the whole thing so scrolling through the main thing so the the main the main important point to understand is is besides the other thing is now that we have now that we have the big the big change that obviously is with um hygiene if you while i don't notice this at major events uh, I don't know this is at smaller events and I am one of the most nose blind people you will run into. I have, have had situations where I go to bigger events such as YCSs, maybe even nationals, where people just smell like complete and utter garbage. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a self-respecting person enough to where wherever I go in public, I, you know, I, I get it when I have work, for example, I get up two hours before I have to, I'm up. You know, even if I have to be at work at 6 a.m., I'm up at 4 o'clock in the morning making sure I get my shower, do all of these things. I don't go to a tournament without doing basic, you know, hygiene stuff. And that is one of the major changes within this subsection one you're seeing right here, which is hygiene. This is this requires all people attending Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments to simply have clean clothing. And if it's dirty or excessively smelling, not only can you be penalized, but, you know, they can actually have you removed from the venue. Now, this is being codified is essentially something that's existed already. Now it's codifying it and basically saying, and it is really, really, really sad um, that people will take Yu-Gi-Oh! so seriously when, you know, there's not, we don't have cash prizes in this game. We don't have, you know, it's not like Pokemon where they give, you know, massive scholarships to some of the winners. It's at the end of the day, it's a mat. You, you, if you top 32, you get a top eight at a regional or a big YCS, you get a mat. If you top 64 at nationals, you get a prize card and a mat that you can then resell. It's not really worth all the trouble to stay up all night before an event to test. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm with the regional right around the corner, I'm spending plenty of time play testing, but it's not worth that. Kind. It's not worth my sanity, it's not worth my sleep. At the end of the day, it's a fun. It's supposed to be a fun, and you're supposed to enjoy the game. So to see, I just can't really fathom, and it's really sad that this had to be codified. But it is a step in the right direction. It is a good change because now it means tournament enforcers can force stinky people to leave the premises, which is good on them. And it's just really, honestly, like I don't really understand how someone can be like that. But nevertheless. It is a thing now. So there are some other changes, but one of the bigger, one of the biggest changes is to how certain cards are ruled. Now you don't necessarily see this as much in this particular um, post, but one of the biggest thing is private knowledge versus public knowledge. So you cannot 
so the biggest thing is and card and deck hand and deck verification these are two major changes to the game so private the private knowledge change so the card and hand deck verification is the main thing people have been going a little bit crazy about which is right in this section right here this is the biggest change previous thing with certain cards such as for example mind crush and other cards which are given examples in the full um document um which i will also leave in the description if you want to read it um but i think this is a better better version of it basically this means that certain cards like for example mind crush that require your opponent to reveal their hand in order to verify that that target exists now that's no longer a thing your opponent can can simply say i don't have it and you don't have they don't have to reveal their hand there's a lot of confusion on this and i'm honestly not entirely sure what, how this affects things like more agreed or personal spoofing are great examples of cards that require certain kinds of cards to be shuffled back into the deck. I don't know how those are ruled as opposed to other things. There's also, and there are, and there are extreme examples where you can get called out for rule sharking, where you can simply step at the table, say you've opened Exodia and not reveal your hand. Um, you can get, that's considered rule sharking under the technical term and you can get a full full-on game loss you can you can get squall dq'd for that so it's not to say you can there is there are lines that are drawn with this change you can't say you can't for example mind crush is probably terrible under this current change my and this is really sad because mind crush is probably my second favorite hat trap card ever made behind skill drain you for example you can't you know you can't say battle phase act and then say and mind crush call evenly matched and then your opponent says they don't have it then they slap it on the table that's an obviously you know they're obviously cheating they're obviously rule sharking you can get you can get you can get a game loss for these kind of things but the biggest thing and i as far as the question is why konami is doing this i'm guessing this is another attempt much like the time rules to shorten rounds because now granted this is a very such a niche scenario i don't think it's going to have an impact like the time rules did in terms of shortening rounds because when with the old time rules we would have as many as 40 minutes in time so we would have a whole nother match in time that's a little ridiculous it makes it it's hard really hard on judges so in that case i understand why they changed the time rules but in this case you're not really saving that much time and most of the scenarios this comes up in are super super niche i'm also completely unsure on the ruling with things like you know more agreed or personal spoofing that required certain cards to be shuffled back into the deck for cost i am not entirely sure how those things work under this and i think we're gonna have to you know see where i go from here and you guys can let me know in the comment section if there's been any verification on how that works i have honestly no idea but this change is is an attempt i think by konami to again try to shorten the amount of time rounds take but this is not going to have that kind of impact and it's really questionable because and it makes a lot of cards such as mind crush or lulu i have obedience basically unplayable and i really don't understand why this change was made outside of possibly shortening rounds but the impact it's going to have is so minimal that's not going to matter the other thing that's been changed is private knowledge this basically completely takes out the ability of people to um mutually side out cards you cannot do that under now obviously now you know the we all know the patrick hope and Jin thing we all know how there's certain kinds of mirror matches where people would side out things like in pepe mirrors people would mutually agree to side out wavering eyes because the card is super unfair and mirrors return from different dimension during dragon rule four might get the idea you cannot divulge things that are in your hand to your opponent the same thing applies you cannot tell your your opponent um you don't have hand traps traps any or you have nothing you cannot tell them that anymore under this current thing this means is this eliminates a lot of scenarios where people could soft cheat where they say they have nothing then suddenly uh, mid combo they drop a hand trap well you said you had nothing this eliminates a lot of those scenarios where you'd have to call a judge over stupid stuff like this and in this case i think it's a smart change i think it's a good change now in the old system you you could you know you can't so this eliminates the ability of your opponent to say they don't have anything so the basically while you still need to communicate certain things with your opponent you can't communicate you can't communicate private knowledge you can't say i'm not going if i'll side out this card if you side out that card you can't do that under this current setup so that's a big change i think that's a good change in the positive direction 
and in this case i think it does also it does also save judge calls and it saves time so that's another thing i think this is a good move and from konami so to summarize all this what do i think this means this is going this is much like the time rules while i do think in in the case of the time rules it does some good it definitely encourages soft cheating there's no doubt about that and these new rules while i think it had the similar intention is going to have the opposite effect where not does it not save time which is i think what konami is trying to do um it will have the opposite effect of enabling soft cheating now there's also a lot of, and i think there's so much gray area with certain cards that it's not really going to be something that is it's going to be something very difficult for judges to enforce i can tell you right now and just i hearing overhearing judges talk at uh, the judges at nationals talk about how time rules was so hard because he had to teach all his judges how to implement it's going to be really difficult on judges and if you're going to regionals like i am over the next few weeks you need to talk to your head judge about how some of these cards are going to be ruled so you understand how it works so hey, all that we're getting to the end of the video so i'm going to move on what to you know personal stuff what i've been up to etc why i haven't about bloating so over the past month or so it's not like i have not been playing Yu Gi Oh. i have been it's just i took a little bit of time away and i think it's not that i dislike the format it's that and i have a fully built sky striker deck that's fully decked out ready for the regional on the 13th which i will be going to um houston regional i will be going we'll get to that in a second um it's just i sometimes with Oh, i need breaks away from the actual following the actual game to kind of kind of get back into it and that's the main thing i've also been doing a lot of other things um and Oh itself is not something i'm not enjoying i'm still enjoying it i still somewhat enjoy the competitive side of the game but for the most part um and it's this isn't a work related issue either as i had mentioned in the past i love my new job's great making a lot more money so that's it's mostly my own personal it's also my own personal fault because i am absolutely awful at time management and i have multiple instances where i have time to make a video to have time to upload and i simply don't do it because i don't get around to it and it's something i need to be better about because you guys deserve better and despite my lack of uploading subscribers have still been coming in so that tells me that in some ways despite not uploading i have been doing something right in the past so that means i need to get try if i can even just upload like a couple times a week like i used to i can get back on track and for you guys um and it's, and i ha and other things i've been doing is mostly uh, games lately eso has been something i have been really into elder scrolls online and i play it quite a bit on ps4 um and I, because I've, it's basically the closest thing we're gonna have to multiplayer Elder Scrolls title, and it's really enjoyable for me. Um, I love, I love Skyrim's one of my favorite games of all times. Being able to play it in an MMO style environment is pretty cool. It's not something that you know. I feel like you guys need to see all the time. It's something I want to stream or anything because it's not the most exciting thing for you guys to watch. But it's something I do enjoy. It's something I'm spending a lot of my free time on. Um, I'm also been getting back into the Borderlands series because Borderlands 3 is coming out. Now that is a game I will probably be streaming when it comes out in the September. Um, I love the Borderlands series, especially two, Borderlands 2 is one of my favorite games I've ever played. And I've been replaying the older games, kind of getting back into them. So that's what I've been up to in terms of that. Um, and to summarize, I've been up to playing video games. I've been awful at time management. And that's something I have to be better about. And I just... And I hope you guys enjoy um to hope to upload more and as far as other uh, public things i do plan on going to houston regional like i do every time it comes around on the 13th it will be at nights of columbus and houston um it's closer to the downtown area i will be going with a few of my teammates i'm hoping to maybe record a vlog for you guys so you guys can kind of see that throughout the day um i've actually had some actually have a, a, some amazing teammates help me get a hold of some of the while i've paid for most of my de entire deck myself some of these guys are absolutely been wonderful to me over the past year over the past few months and helping me get some of these cards that i need for these decks so i'm really excited and i'm and i'm excited to actually show cut vlog with them and show you guys more once they kind of get used to it so summarize houston regional 
Um, I, I'm going to be planning on uploading a lot more often from the next week. And I hope you guys will stick around to deal, to watch. So anyway, guys, that comes to the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think of the new time rules. And if you have any ideas of new content you guys would like to see, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. Score Store, signing out.